Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewer Cormoran and it's a bottle of the American IPA coming in at 6% ABV. This beer was kindly sent by Beer Guide PL on YouTube, Thomas Kuiper. Check out his YouTube channel. There's the, I love these bottle caps. So much detail goes into these caps. Look at that. Great stuff there. The American IPAs, the American style IPAs in Poland have been absolutely tremendous. We've been reviewing them on the channel over the last few months. And they've really captured that American style really well. Let's see how this Brewer Cormoran beer fares up then. Lovely look to the beer. Look at that. A lovely cherry red colour. Two fingers of slightly off white head. Nice carbonation rising up the side of the glass there. It's a clear beer. Slightly hazy, but hey ho, that's, that's the American hops in this beer. Let's get the aroma then. And it's so fresh, so fruity. Bit of mango, bit of, bit of kind of, bit of pear in here. Apple, lemon, grapefruit. And a nice sweet malty finish on the aroma. Smells good, got to get into this 6% beer. Cheers. <laughs> Pretty darn good. In fact, really, really, really good. Really nice and, and all of them multi hoppy wow and it's still pulling uh, flavors up front the mango the grapefruit the lemon the lime the pears there as well it's like a kind of a dry pear taste in there but then this whack of bitterness comes in on the back end and then when you kind of thought that is it the beer's kind of done its job with the hops in the beer it hits you again. It's a huge hot bomb of a beer, this one. But as I say, it's not just bitter. It's got lovely fruity flavours going on in this brew. It's nice and refreshing. It's a, it's a very drinkable, refreshing mouthfeel. There's that slight stickiness on the lips you're going to get from that hop in the beer. It's, it's a, all these American hops, they're very resiny and they will give you a kind of a, a sticky hoppy finish. The amount of hops that, are go, that goes into the beer, a little bit of stickiness on the lips, inside of the mouth, all good. It's all good, but it's still very refreshing. The carbonation in the beer helps to push the flavours around and, and kind of explode them on the palate. It pushes it to areas of the mouth, the palate, where if there was no carbonation, it, you, the beer would kind of struggle to penetrate that, that kind of palate area. Let's see if it's bottle conditioned. But great stuff. And I've reviewed quite a few Polish American style IPAs now from Poland and they've really captured the imagination. They've, they've kind of really got on board with the craft beer revolution that's going on around the world. And it's, it's great. It's great to watch. It's great to read about. It's great to see. 
and, and let's let's get this craft beer revolution really going in 2014 let's tell all of our friends and family about craft beer and let's get it into double digits at the moment in America I was reading an article the other day craft beer is about 8% of the whole beer market still plenty of room for growth there it's growing at about between 1 and 2% of the whole beer market a year so at the end of 2014 let's hope for a 10% market share so that means one in ten people will know about craft beer we will hit that tipping point and then everybody will know about craft beer let's let's see if we can kind of get there and make this a main stream or not mainstream what am i trying to say that everybody gets to enjoy But the hops in this beer is the big, big win for me. And there's a balance to the beer, it's nice and sweet. There's a lot of aspects about this beer that just brings quality. It's got balance, there's hops, it's bitter on the back end, it's all them fruity flavours, it's sweet, it's everything you want in an IPA. So, Brew Cormoran. American IPA, 6% ABV, my final thoughts, and a rating. It's lovely. It's a beer you could have two or three of, and, and maybe even more if you want. It's not one of them beers where you have the one and you think, oh, that's a bit too hoppy, I'm going to move on to something else, or... It's got the right, it's struck the right balance for me. I'm going to give this a hefty, a hefty 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from me, Lel Craft Beer. I've really enjoyed this beer. Thanks to Beer Guide PL, Thomas Kuiper for sending the beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.